A substantial snowfall in August remains settled in the city with road closures and flight cancellations in and out of Dunedin. And for those venturing out in the wintry conditions and coming to a nasty end, it was a boon for panel beaters. Portobello Road upgrades were progressing with staff aware of sticking to the half million dollar budget. The layout of the road had to be changed after public input. We recognise that there were some issues with the with the original design which is why we've, we've gone about trying to rectify those with some input. So what we're looking at now is a, is a dedicated shared path for cyclists that's clearly marked so there's no confusion over what's, what's road and what's cycleway. Council discussions were dominated by the effects that rising sea levels would have on South Dunedin, with councillors calling for input from central government. Sand sausages were being installed at St Clair Beach after a two-week delay to help prevent dune erosion. The New Zealand International Film Festival was in Dunedin and the director of the opening film, Poi A, was sharing his filmmaking experiences. All I knew was the beat. That's all I had, and maybe the chorus and uh, that sort of served me well in terms of creating an attachment to the song but in terms of understanding where it came from, who the people are and the meaning of the song, it, uh, it was a journey of discovery. A hands-on art exhibition that captured the imagination of 75,000 visitors came to an end and thousands of dots had to be removed from the obliteration room at the Dunedin Public Art Gallery. The snow set system was being used on the Cadrona ski field to help monitor how much snow is on the fields. A workshop on filmmaking was held in Dunedin for budding young future directors and film editors. Otago High School students were recognised at the Class Act Awards for their academic, sporting and cultural pursuits. Well, I think it's really important to show you know, what the future leadership of New Zealand looks like, how talented this group of people are but also for others to strive to want to be in that group. So you've got a younger years, of course, who, you know, who want to get up there. and Because um, mostly the students come from year 13. And I think, you know, for, for the community, they feel good about seeing just how talented these youngsters are. Southern right whales were spotted off St Clair Beach, much to the delight of local residents and the Department of Conservation. Hundreds of people marched up George Street wearing yellow in support of suicide prevention and big bubbles were being blown outside the Dunedin Railway Station to help bring awareness to cystic fibrosis. And finally, since it opened its doors in Invercargill, 34,000 people have visited Transport World. And the addition of 300 classic motorbikes to its collection means there will need to be an expansion to the already full facility. D. Karen, The South Today.